Egyptians hit the polls this weekend in the first round of the constitutional vote. This election is yet another contentious election held in a polarized environment. Weeks before this election was held, there were numerous clashes between mainly Islamist factions supporting the Muslim Brotherhood and the Salafi parties and the secular, liberal and Christian minority parties. As you can see uh, on the morning of the election, all the different newspapers reflect the different opinions involved in this election. This is Masri al Yum, it's an independent paper. And as you can see, they're pretty much saying vote no or chaos will erupt. And this is a, a, a scene from Alexandria, which is one of Egypt's second largest cities. On the eve of the election, clashes broke out right outside one of the mosques when the preacher, the sheikh of the mosque, was calling on the, uh, the worshippers to vote yes in support of the Muslim Brotherhood. Uh, this paper is the Muslim Brotherhood's paper, and as you can see, there's a. Uh, this is how. This is the ballot that it, most Egyptians will see. It's the blue part, which means vote yes. This is the Muslim Brotherhood's uh, main publication, and then of course there's the El Watan paper, which actually belongs to a former presidential candidate, a well-known socialist who won the city of Alexandria during the first round of presidential elections. He's showing scenes of um, Islamists with swords attacking uh, more liberal parties and they read that they're trying to bring about a civil war in Egypt. While the lines stretched around blocks at some polling stations, the mood seemed more divisive from previous elections. When we start asking questions of women waiting at this school, arguments ignite. أنا مش عاجبني الدستور. ليه بقى؟ واللي بيقولوا نعم أصلا ما قروش الدستور ومش فاهمين أخطاوا إيه. المفروض إن اللي ينزل يعود أو نعم أو لا لازم يكون قاري ومتعلم وفاهم. هو ده اللي أنا أفهمه. غير كده ما ينفعش. مش أي واحد يروح يقول نعم وهو مش فاهم إيه الدستور يعني إيه. أنا قلت الناس قالت نعم، تحاربني على أساس إن إحنا قلنا نعم. على أساس إن إحنا شعب متحلف ولا الأصوان اللي قال لك ممنوع الأميين يضلوا أصواتهم. الأميين عشان عارف الأميين بيمثلوا 40% من الشعب المصري، يعني إيه ممنوع الأميين يضلوا أصواتهم؟ فين الديمقراطية اللي حضرتك بتتكلمي عنها؟ سياسة غلط، رئيس غلط، ابتدينا غلط، من أول استفتاء الدستور بتاع شهر ثلاثة غلط. ومبني على باطل فهو باطل. فاحنا ماشيين غلط لغايه دلوقتي. وكلنا انا ممكن اكد لك 70% من الشعب المصري مش موافق على الدستور والنتيجه هتطلع نعم. لو كلمه لا اتعملت اتعملت هو ربنا سبحانه وتعالى بيعاقب هذا الشعب. ليه؟ عشان الشعب جري ورا الاعلام. لكن لو كلمه نعم ان شاء الله باذن الله مصر دي هتبقى من من قمه الدول اللي في الشرق الاوسط كلها. We covered this polling station during the parliamentary and presidential elections and the turnout was much higher. Another difference is during those elections they were held under the military council and there was a much higher presence of the police and army. This time around the police and the army say they're standing by but maintain a neutral stance. The army has deployed 120,000 soldiers to polling stations throughout Egypt during the first round of election. The process to draft a new constitution in Egypt has faced multiple setbacks. The Constitutional Assembly was dominated by Islamists from the Muslim Brotherhood and Salafi parties. Liberals, secularists, leftists and female members of the Assembly walked out in protests. Soon after, President Morsi issued a decree granting him sweeping powers, including the protection of the Constitutional Assembly's final draft for the referendum vote. Although the decree was rescinded last week, Protesters who have been filling Cairo streets non-stop for the past few weeks say the constitution is a farce. Amongst those joining the anti-Morsi Brotherhood sentiment are those known as the Couch Party, sympathizers of the old regime or those who do not participate in protests against the military council's violent reign, joined thousands of revolutionaries, workers and women's groups against the constitution. 
الناس اللي قاعده في البيت خلاص ابتدت خلاص تزهق من الوضع خلاص احنا مش هنفضل قاعدين في البيت احنا لازم يبقى لنا دور فعال. They are becoming to be active because they felt that their way of living is going to be badly affected and this is not what they were expecting after the revolution. So now they are moving which I'm sure that the Muslim Brotherhood were not expecting. Despite setting up cement blocks and army barricades at the end of the main avenue in front of the presidential palace, the ongoing sit-in showed no signs of letting up. Like previous elections in Egypt, since the ouster of President Mubarak two years ago, violence and popular unrest marred the run-up to the vote. These are the scenes that played out on the most violent day when supporters of the Muslim Brotherhood attacked a sit-in outside the presidential palace. The occupants were mostly liberals, seculars and revolutionaries. In total, 10 people from both sides of the battle were killed and over a thousand injured. It further hyped the media war in Egypt where both the Muslim Brotherhood and the opposition accused each other of pushing the country into civil strife. The results of this election will be announced after the second round slated for the 22nd of this month. Egyptians are voting on the future of their president Mohamed Morsi, who has now been in power for just six months. If a majority of the Egyptian population vote yes, it would be a victory for Morsi and his Muslim Brotherhood in pushing along their agenda in the country. If the majority vote no, it would annul the Islamist draft and delay indefinitely the process of forming a new constitution, winning the opposition and revolutionaries more time to combat their well-organized and influential Brotherhood opponents. But as the preliminary results began to trickle in late Sunday night, President Morsi and his brotherhood seemed to have the upper hand. 53% voted yes, while 46% voted no. In regions that voted against President Morsi during the presidential election, he won more than 50%. The official results will not be announced until the second round slated for the 22nd of this month. Meanwhile, sit-ins and protests continue against President Morsi and his Muslim Brotherhood. Jahan Hafiz for The Real News, Cairo, Egypt.